introducing first up by right, occupying the red corner. He comes right out of the west of Queensland. By day, he works seven kilometres underground in a mine shaft in Emerald, Queensland. Ladies and gentlemen, he is the former OPBF and WBO Asia Pacific and Australian heavyweight champion. He's met the biggest guns in Australian boxing. Bob Mirovic four times, Carly Meehan four times, Rick Thornbury twice, Joe Butner and Vin Serby three times. Ladies and gentlemen, ranked number two in World of Boxing, Ray Wheatley's prestigious magazine, number two heavyweight challenger to Bob Mirovic. Ladies and gentlemen, scaling a massive 111.50 kilograms with Jack Hornery in the corner. Black is black. Would you welcome the coal miner with a record of 39 fights, 23 wins, 15 losses, one no contest, 14 big wins coming by way of knockout. We're in black, red, and gold. Would you welcome Colin Kid Wilson? Wilson. Championships, IBO and WBF World Heavyweight Championships, OBBF Australasian Heavyweight Championships, scaling 107.75 kilograms. Welcome home to Australia after fighting Tony Tubbs, Tim Witherspoon, and Trevor Verbeck, and WBA current heavyweight champion John Ruiz to 12 rounds in the United States. He is in the record books of boxing with a 1.7. Second knockout of Crawford Grimsley in Flint, Michigan in 1997. Ladies and gentlemen, his weight, 107.75 kilograms. It's thunder time. Let's roll with black and white trucks. James Thunder. Thunder. Your ringside coach, Danica Williams, Andrew Campbell, Brian Memory. Your ringside position, Dr. Pete Lewis. Ladies and gentlemen, your timekeeper of the belt, Damon Memory. Referee in charge of the action, Long John McCubbin, chairman of the board, Bernard W. Barmer. It's yours, John. Ten rounds of super heavyweight boxing. Most of the boxers come into John McCubbin for his instructions. When I say break, I mean break. No throw punches. Get out there, I want to fight, I want a clean fight, and I want you no head button, no elbow, you big boys, I don't want to be dragging you apart all the time, right? Both of you, go low, shake hands. So don't argue, fellas. Colin Wilson looking very determined. Oh, he's a determined man, that man, Colin Wilson. Gave Jimmy Thunder the eye well and truly. Get ready, and folks at home, don't blink. No. There's going to be explosives. All the boys on the internet sites haven't Whoa. given Colin Wilson much uh, much chance here. I beg to differ. I think that uh, awkward big southpaw, but then again, that maybe that might suit James Thunder with a big right hand that he's got. They've got a vicious right hand, James Thunder. As I said, I saw him hit Kevin Barry with an uppercut in Tasmania, and uh, man, I, I thought he was out forever. The yes. boxers don't like Southpaws, though, do they, Barry? No, no. I, dead set didn't like him. Only ever lost to three Aussies, and they're all Southpaws. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'd throw that in. Yeah, they're, <laughs> uh, they're hard to fight, uh, Peter. They, you know, they lead with the right hand. They do everything back to front, and uh, but. Uh, but Colin Wilson has got a, got a, an ability to frustrate his opponents. So size really doesn't matter with Colin Wilson. And uh, now that he's a big... Uh, when he fought Joe Bugner, well, let, let me tell you a little story there and everyone will know it at home. When he fought Bugner, he trained his absolute heart out and uh, he came in, he was off the drink and everything for uh, three months. <laughs> Weighed in at 87 kilos. Joe came in at 118 kilos. 87, 118. <laughs> yep. Gave away too much weight. Put up an admirable show, but Bugner was really at the top of his game at that stage and uh, and was just a clear winner. But I, I remember he fought Vinny Servi uh, twice, and Servi just absolutely outgunned him, outpunched him, outbeat him in every department. And then they matched him for the Australian heavyweight title, and I refereed that in February 1997. And Wilson actually beat Vin Servi for the heavyweight championship. That was absolute determination. They tell me too that um, James Thunder's cousin is The Rock. The rest of the rock. Yeah, that's what I read on the CV here. Yeah. yeah. He's doing pretty well for himself, the rock. Jimmy Thunder, oh, vicious body shot there. Looking to land the big ones. 
and, and Colin Wilson doesn't need to fight that. He needs to keep moving around and uh, and moving around from his from his right the way he is there. Yep. Throw that big right hand of his long reach. Um, Stick the jab out, tie tie him up whenever he gets close. Yep. If he stands still, James Thun James Thunder will land one on him, and uh, of course it will hurt. Taller than Thunder uh, is uh, Colin Wilson. Jimmy Thunder looking for that big right hand against his southpaw opponent. 188 centimetres or six foot two in the old language thunder and 190 centim 193 centimetre reach. Colin Wilson was 192 centimetres uh, tall, six foot three in the old language and 194 centimetre reach. But there's that right hand. Colin Wilson, Wilson just shakes his head. That didn't do enough, but uh, certainly if I was Colin, I wouldn't be standing around uh, trying to test that right hand of James Thunder. He's done a pretty good, pretty good job so far this round of smother smothering the power of James Thunder. He's so awkward, Colin. Well, he's a south boy, isn't yeah, he? <laughs> it's a nothing, uh, nothing round at the moment. Thunder certainly trying to make the fight, moving up to Colin Wilson, trying to back him into a corner, trying to, uh, trying to uh, unload on that big right hand. That's what he's looking for at the moment. He doesn't want to try to win it with one punch, though, as the bell goes for the end of round one. It was a very, uh, very, very nothing round. Nothing that, I round. Think Barry, it, uh, You'd probably have to give it to Jimmy Thunder on aggression. Pure aggression. Yeah, no Maybe. more than aggression. Yeah. Certainly no punches, uh, no clear punches scored, but uh, Thunder was the aggressor. He kept coming up to Colin Wilson. He made the fight. There's that little right hand that got through. Wilson just shook his head and said, no, it didn't hurt. Johnny Skeeter in the corner of... Uh, James Thunder. The left ear of James Thunder looks as though he's copped a few batterings. Maybe he's copped it off the right. Hey? <laughs> if you do see a lot of the uh, professional wrestlers with, uh, or amateur wrestlers as well with cauliflower ears, it's very common. It's something you don't see in professional fighters these days. It's much. You do see it sometimes, but it's rare. And league players too. And league players, yeah, they, they wear a few. <laughs> it's interesting to know that uh, James Thunder left our shores in uh, early to mid-1994. And on an average, he, uh, he only had five or six fights uh, per year over there. In 1994, he had six fights for six wins. 1995, six fights for five wins. 97, four fights for three wins. 98, one fight for one win. And uh, 99, one fight for one win. In the year 2000, he had two fights for two devastating knockout losses. So uh, a change of management, change of trainer in 1997 after that heartbreaking loss oh, to, uh, to John Ruiz. Um, it all turned around for James Thunder. Yeah. He lost seven in a row. Yeah. Well, not seven in a row, but seven of his last 11 fights he lost. And, uh, of course, it all just went wrong for him there, Peter. And uh, A close fight with John Ruiz. I mean, you look at what John Ruiz has done since then. You know, WBA champion. Uh, I think he's won, he's won two out of three with Evander. Evander, yep. And uh, that's saying something. You know, I'll so. say, I think he was pretty lucky with the last one. But uh, still, you know, to be up in that level, and Jimmy Thunder was up at that level then, but uh, he's, he's yet to see if he can... Bring himself back, but good work there by Colin Wilson. Wilson. That's what Wilson's best at. Jab, jab, jab. Come across with that left, cro that left, left cross of his. It's a, it comes at an awkward angle, Barry. It's hard to get out of the way. But Thunder got out of the way of it. But a couple, uh, couple of good scoring punches yeah. there by Colin Wilson, though. But see, that's his, that's his, uh, his wrongdoing. Is he stands back, goes straight back in a straight line, and lets Thunder come charging in with that big right hand. And eventually, one of those punches is going to get through and hurt him. But. Uh, not to be denied, Colin Wilson, a split points loser to Big Bob Mirovic for the Australian title in, on May the 10th up at uh, Gosford this year on a promotion by Angelo Hyder. And uh, what a good, uh, good effort. He's fought Bob Mirovic three times, Colin Wilson, losing each time, and he's fought Carly Meehan four times. Ooh. Very determined uh, customer. Jimmy Thunder being ineffective so far. He's not landing cleanly. No. He's looking for the big shots, but uh, big, uh, he's, fi he's finding gloves and arms at the moment. Wilson taking the fight. It looks a lot better this round, Colin Wilson. Still, I don't like him going Ooh. straight back in a straight line like that. <laughs> that, that was a cracking line. Oh, that's a that good little left cross. That certainly mm. caught the attention of Jimmy Thunder. Yeah, I, I think it did too. He's sure, and another nice right hand. A good, good round by, Jim, by uh, Colin Wilson here. He's thinking about it. Collins just asked me to mention to his sponsor, if you could mention his sponsors, uh, Hornsby Sand and Cement, the Capella Hotel, Aquanaut Water, All Seasons Fencing, and of course Emerald Party Hire, up from the pretty town of Emerald where Colin works as a miner up there. 
20 seconds remaining of round two and a clever round by Colin Wilson. Well, he's a clever fighter and as I sort of said, when he uh, puts his mind to something, uh, he can certainly do it. Well, as I said before the fight, he glared at Jimmy, uh, Jimmy Thunder and he, you could see he really is, is here to win. He really means business. Yeah. Gritted his teeth and he's... Uh, Oh, oh nice work. Yes. Again. Colin Wilson's round. Good round for Colin yeah. Wilson. This is what I sort of said all along. He's he hard, did, he's dogged, he's determined. Yep. And uh, and he he will frustrate you if you allow him. Yep. Thunder allowed him to frustrate him in that round. He let Wilson go first. Wilson's got punches that come from angles, a little like Sam Solomon. Probably doesn't throw as much, many punches there as we watch uh, the right hand missed. Jimmy calls him on. There's the little left, cr the little right cross again. At the moment, Jimmy Thunder not putting his punches together in combinations. His timing appears to be off at this stage. It certainly does. It, uh, well, you can understand that too, Barry. He's you been can. out of the ring for eight or eight months. And, it's a uh, long time. It is a long time. Yeah, his last fight was a, a devastating loss. Uh, you know, so. Um, even the greatest, though, have trouble coming back. I remember Jimmy Carruthers when he beat Victor Wheel for the world title in 1954. Some time later, he came back. He was never the same fighter, no, was he? No, no, no. We're all only human, and, and our fighters sometimes speak, tend to forget that, Pete. We're all only human, and Father Time, as I said a little bit earlier, it misses, he misses no one. As we're into the third round, Colin Wilson wearing the black trunks, James Thunder in the white, returning to Australia after eight years. Certainly making a good name of himself in the United States. If Colin Wilson can do this for three or four more rounds, it's going to be a, it's going to be a different outcome than most people thought. Well, I, I think, there's, think. Got, there's got to be a question mark over Jimmy. Um, you know, he's standing flat-footed there, and Colin comes across with that little left cross. Colin has gone to the to the chest cavity there three or four times with that little left cross. Now you watch in a moment. He's going to go bang with that little left cross, and he'll aim it straight at Jimmy Thunder's nose, and it'll hit the mark. You watch because that's part of his game plan. I see. I think he's just working him around, working yeah. Jimmy around. Yeah, he's waiting and waiting. But even the left cross to the uh, the chest, as you said, I mean, it doesn't look a debilitating shot, but it's, as I said before, it's it, you know. There, it certainly there does the business. He missed with the target, but there he went, went straight with that left cross, straight to the head. There it is again. Jimmy Thunder's starting to get frustrated. And Jimmy's standing flat on his back. I'll foot. tell you what, uh, Wilson is growing in confidence. Yep. The is. longer this bout goes. That's the, the, better off, the better off chance he's going to have, the longer it goes for sure. We negotiated with uh, with Mark Fagan and Bill Hartman for a little while to uh, to put this fight together. We wanted an opponent that uh, that was um, that was worthy of. Uh, we didn't want to bring an easy beat over for uh, for Jimmy Thunder. We wanted uh, someone who was going to test him, someone who's uh, really going to sort of make him work. Whether he can win it or not, that's entirely up to James Thunder. But uh, we wanted a credible opponent too, well, Peter. So. Uh, Brings crowds back to boxing. It does. It? I mean, a good contest. People don't want to see Patsy's brought into the rest of it. There's that left to the body. There it is, and he's mixing it up very well. Colin Wilson winning this round again. Yeah, yeah he's finding a very smart fight. Just frustrating James at the moment. Ooh. There's that little cross, the right hand cross, and oh, that's a looping punch, Barry. That's a dangerous punch. There's that body shot again. And there's the right hand. Ooh. Jimmy's flat footed. Jimmy Thunder is flat footed. He doesn't need to stand there flat footed. Looks like he's just a little frustrated at the moment. Just he's getting frustrated. Yeah. He's getting more frustrated the longer this is this goes. Of course, just we're always only one one punch away from disaster, Pete. You know, <laughs> with this with this uh, with the heavyweights. Oh so yeah, that's for sure. I say don't blink. I don't mean to be smart, but uh, can can happen from anywhere. Jimmy just not doing enough. He's letting Colin Wilson take the fight away from him at the moment. Colin's he's boxed well. He's landed yeah. quite about four or five. Very hard left drive to the body, which, as I said, they're good scoring punches, and they do take it out of you. Yep. There's that little murderous right hand. Thunder reminds me a little bit of Vince Servi. Very powerful, very powerfully built, and comes across with that big little right cross, and that's that what troubled Colin Wilson in his first two fights. But Wilson worked him out in the last fight, actually hit him with a little uh, left uppercut that put Vinny Servi down in the fourth round and went on with the job. Even though it was a close fight, it was a good hard fight. That's another good round for, uh, for Colin, Colin Wilson. Wilson. Yeah, End of round three. Yeah. On my unofficial card, I have a 29 to 28 in favour of, uh, of Colin Wilson. That's the way I see it too, Brad. And it looks very, very, very comfortable very, in the very well the last couple of rounds. Looks very comfortable, Colin Wilson. He can be well pleased with what he's done. As we look at Jimmy just standing there, waiting, trying to counter-punch Colin. It's not going to work for him. 
There's that little looping right hand. We'll see there on the on the monitor Wilson moving around to Jimmy's left hand, nullifies that big right hand a little bit. As we prepare for the start of the fourth round. Colin Wilson, 30 years of age from far north Queensland. At Emerald. And Jimmy Thunder, 36 years of age. Born Formerly of the Gold Coast. And there'll be a lot of Gold Coast people tonight rooting for Colin Wilson. Very, very popular figure down on the Gold Coast. Had the majority of his fights over there at Pelham's Hotel in Narang. Former trainer Shane Brady, I know he's probably watching. All the boys will be over at the uh, Pelhamans Barn, Pelhamans Barn yes. and uh, the Benoa Tavern and <laughs> all the local watering holes up there tonight. Jimmy Thunder's trying a few tricks here, trying to paint um, Colin Wilson into falling into his right hand. Well, Colin, if, he move, if Colin moves around the way he's moving, he's, he's going to keep Jimmy on his back foot. Jimmy winding him up, saying come in. There's that pouring yeah. little left hand, that little right hand of Colin Wilson. He pours with that right hand. Really hasn't got a lot of authority, but it comes from that, it comes up from an angle up and down, and of course it hits you right on the on the eyebrow, and it's a very frustrating punch. With 111 kilos behind it, I reckon <laughs> 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 it wouldn't be too good. He's just keeping Jimmy Thunder on the back foot with that with that long pouring jab of his and oh, oh is. that's a good punch that was his best. and he hits jimmy again with a, with a little uppercut jimmy looking a little bit weary now yeah, of the punching is. power of colin wilson he is he not is. a renowned knockout punch at colin wilson 14 knockouts from 23 wins but jimmy's starting to uh, breathe heav heavily too and i he think is. he's getting very frustrated here lovely short left hand from colin wilson straight to jimmy thunder's face I remember Colin Wilson when he uh, was actually used to try and make cruiserweight. You know, he was only ever a very, very light, uh, a light heavyweight, where it weighing only in at the very early 90s, always 92, 93 kilos. Tried to make cruiserweight against Adrian Bellin on a Fox Sports show live out of uh, Tweed Heads. Didn't work as he stands there and lets Thunder unload on him with those big lefts and rights. He comes Ooh. back with a right hand of his own. That caught the attention of Thunder. Oh, power. The power with Thunder, though, he's got awesome effect. Lovely oh, body shot. Oh, good combination. Good Even body right punches from pistol. Colin Wilson. Right under the chest, Barry. Oh, yeah, that's got to slow your opponent up. Good. Oh, oh that was low, that oh. one. But good punches from Colin oh, Wilson. That's a big left. That's Boston hurt. Third, that's Jimmy. hurt, Jimmy Thunder. Colin Wilson doing it well here in the fourth round. 40 seconds to go in round four, and Colin Wilson looking good, landing some beautiful shots. Oh, track of a left hand. Colin Wilson. Teed off on that one. He sure did. Just throwing punches at Will Colin Wilson. Jimmy just not doing enough, and he certainly the body language tells me he's that Jimmy's starting yep. to struggle a little he's bit here. He's starting to struggle. He's left his right eye starting start to swell, to close, yep. and he's copping punches more and more cleanly as the rounds progress. He's definitely slowing up. And of course, the other thing is this, that Jimmy's short of a gallop. Yeah, you know, he's first fight in, uh, First fight in uh, in 18 months, and of course, you know, you've, you've got to be short of a gallop. First time he's thrown a punch in anger, just walking into those left crosses of Colin Wilson. Good that, round. Eye, that right eye of Jimmy Thunder is closing rapidly. Certainly End going of round to, uh, four, and certainly a very good one. Colin okay. Wilson. We're in Jimmy Thunder's corner. Let's have a look at that right eye. Certainly got to be some concern. I don't know whether we can hear what uh, Johnny Scoot is saying. Do we bust, James? Do we bust? Banging is too much. Now we're getting your number. Get in the plane. We're getting tired, you know. We've got to try and get that over. He certainly landed some big bombs in that round, didn't he? Colin Wilson landed some very good shots. Now, notice I said Barry earlier on, he's been throwing that little left cross to the chest cavity. Yep. He's hit every time. Now, all of a sudden, he's turned it up straight to the chin, and he's hit it every time he's, he's bamboozled Jimmy. There it is. Look at that body shot, though. He's landed some vicious body shots. And that's got to be taken out of Jimmy. Oh. He's got on Jimmy, yep. There was that beautiful left cross. That certainly caught Jimmy's attention. There is another one. Yeah, As the bell might, sounds for the round of the fifth round. They mightn't be putting him over at the moment, but another four or five rounds when he's more fatigued or another couple of rounds, there's every chance that they'll hurt a lot more. And that eye would be hurting too. Yeah, oh that, yeah. That's, that's going to impair gonna get his vision, Peter. That's yeah. going to impair his vision. And, of course, what's happening is that eye is coming. You've got to remember that uh, Colin throws... Uh, throws his punches at odd angles and the left cross is the one that's done the damage not the right as jimmy misses with a wild right hand and pays the price jimmy starting to become a little bit frustrated now 
Yeah, good work. Colin, Colin ties Wilson. him up in close. Left hook, right hand. Sorry, right hook, left hand, Colin Wilson. There's that little left cross again. Just fighting. The other thing is that Colin Wilson is not fighting in, in burst. He's, he's just finding a smart steady, fight. Steady, smart fight. Yeah, he's finding a very, very calculating fight here. Nice little uppercut from Thunder there. Colin walks straight onto that. That hit right under the chin. As referee John McCubbin comes in and breaks it up. That right eye of Thunder's not looking good. Giving him a target. It certainly is. There yeah, it is. Oh, yeah. what a nice left hand that every was. Everyone is Lovely hitting him every time. Two beautiful right jabs by Colin Wilson. Jimmy Thunder in trouble. In a lot of trouble here. He's losing the rounds. His eyes swollen. Looks like... Um, what. To me, I think it will be an upset. I would have thought that uh, Jimmy Thunder would have been a heavy favourite here. Colin Wilson boxing the fight of his life. Well, let me tell you that all the internet sites and uh, all the fighters that I knew of said, oh, how long is it going to go, Brad? Two, three rounds? I said, no, you watch this fight because I, I believe that there's a, a real possibility that Colin Wilson will put up a much better show than what everyone's given him credit well, for. Well, at the moment, he's on his way to victory, I'm telling certainly you. He's is. looking very good. He's won certainly four, uh, three of the last four rounds. Look at the body language. Jimmy Thunder yeah. going backwards then. And of course, the other thing is that uh, Jimmy Thunder is great in experience-wise. He's, uh, he's completed 12 rounds nine times for, uh, for five points wins and four losses. He's been booked to go 12 rounds 15 times for nine wins and six losses. There's that big right hand of Thunder as he crowds Colin Wilson. Didn't have the same snap as no. before. And of course, Colin Wilson has completed 12 rounds only five times, but he's been booked to go 11, uh, 12 rounds on 11 occasions for seven losses and four wins. So he doesn't like going the distance, Colin Wilson, but uh, they're not going to have to go 12 rounds tonight. And I think that uh, he's certainly looking the goods here, Colin Wilson, but one punch can turn this whole fight around. So he needs to fight smart if he wants to win this fight. He's still looking pretty fresh, though, at the uh, business end of the fifth, isn't he? Yeah. And I've seen Colin Wilson almost out of a fight. And yet he's hung in there and hung in there and hung in there and just came home and won the fight. Well, he's boxing, he's boxing beautifully here. Jimmy becoming frustrate, frustrated, just throwing some wild little punches as Colin clips him on the back of the ear roll. Good right lead. Another good round for Colin Wilson on my card, Barry. Yeah, definitely, Brad. Another, another good, very, very good round for Colin Wilson. Jimmy Thunder getting very frustrated here. Try to put some yep. ice on that eye. It's done a pretty good job, actually. Yeah, it hasn't come up as bad as I thought it would have. They pressed the swelling back down. Looks like he's got, got a bit of a nick there in the corner too now, maybe. When they remove the towel, we might be able to see. As you can see, Jimmy Thunder listening intently to Johnny Scooter and uh, Colin Wilson listening to uh, Jack Horner, his brother Blair Wilson, a former good fighter himself in his own right, Blair. There's that uh, long left, uh, that long right jab of Wilson's. Tell you what, you'd, you'd have to say that Jimmy Thunder has hardly landed cleanly at any stage in the last four rounds. Well, even yeah. even in the first in any, round, he, yeah, he didn't. He hasn't landed two punches in succession at any stage. Let me tell you, I know my solicitor. You're listening up there in uh, well, on the we... Gold Coast, Bernard Ponty. He had faith in Colin Wilson. He said that Colin Wilson will go the distance. I know you did, Bernard. And you're looking to goods at the moment. Hello yep. to you and Sheila and all the family up there. Only halfway there. Yep. Mm. Uh, Jimmy's got the job ahead of him, it would appear, after they sussed each other out in the first round. But oh, that's, that's they, they've got And Colin hurt. now talking to James Thunder. Yep, he's gaining in confidence every round. James, uh, just relax, taking it easy, just standing in front of Colin Wilson. Just want to get overconfident, though. No, no, Thunder gets on him with that right hand cleanly. You'll certainly know about it. Well, he's got power in both hands, Jimmy. He has. And, uh, I mean, he's, he can end a fight with one punch, whether it be the left or whether it be the right. But uh, but let me tell you, Colin is good on the chin. He is good on the chin. The fights that he's lost have basically been to arguably the best heavyweight in this country, uh, Carly Meehan. Um, and he's pushed Carly on a couple of occasions. Uh, Carly, I know, has a lot of respect for, uh, for Colin Wilson. But the times that he has lost, and lost badly, has been when he's fought for the money only and hasn't been fit. And, of course, Colin's a little bit prone to that. He doesn't like the gymnasium <laughs> like a lot of us fighters. <laughs> but he's always happy to fight. And he's afraid of no man, Colin Wilson. He'll fight anybody. Yep. I like the way he's got his trunks pulled up nice and high. Yes, he certainly has. There's that, that little left cross again, Barry. Yeah, that left body shot. Left drive to the body. That's, that's got to be that's got to be taking a lot out of thunder. 
holds a win over the Gatton Tiger, Ricky Thornbury. He, uh, Thornbury reversed that loss in, very, in Colin's second fight. He's a former WBO Asia Pacific heavyweight champion, former Queensland heavyweight and cruiserweight champion, Colin Wilson. And he's the former Australasian heavyweight champion, won that by uh, a ninth round stoppage over uh, over Lindsay Christians and the tough New Zealander who came over and uh, lost at the Southport RSL. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, snappy jab, mm. Colin Wilson. Gaining in confidence, he, he just looks like he's doing it easy, Colin Wilson, at the moment. But Jimmy just, Jimmy's just talking, him. flat footed there in front of Colin Wilson. Not much snapping Jimmy Thunder's punches now, though. He's uh, taunting him now. Yep. And Wilson does that. He's uh, He'll talk to you. I've refereed him a number of times. Yeah, I've had that say to him, hey, shut up, just fight. <laughs> no, you've got to talk to him. <laughs> it certainly puts him off. I know that you talked to Lester Ellis the night you were fighting uh, I there, Barry. Talk, I used to talk to nearly all of them. My Is name is Brad, yeah. You're a bad man, Barry. <laughs> 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 this is where Jimmy Thunder needs to do something, but it's just not there. He's got a habit of causing upsets, Colin Wilson. We matched him uh, way back in October 2000 against... Uh, Desperation there. Oh, he Jimmy has, Thunder. yeah. Against Justin, Form, uh, Justin Fortune for the OPBF heavyweight champion, and Colin stopped Justin Fortune in the sixth round, which was uh, a little bit of a shock. Will he cause another shock tonight? Certainly looking that way. Jimmy Thunder talking back there to uh, Colin Wilson. And there's that little left hook from Jimmy. And that's another good round for Colin Wilson. I couldn't see Jimmy pinching the points in that. No, no. No, he's certainly struggling at this stage of the fight. End of round six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten to go. Jimmy Thunder and Colin Wilson. And the now scorecard, Colin Wilson in front at the moment. Well, he's certainly earning it. He's just, uh, look, he's just being a little bit smart for Jimmy at the moment. He's just uh, beating Jimmy to the punch. He's going first. And, of course, he's also, Peter, he's, he's making it difficult for Jimmy, as you'll see, with that right cross. It's coming at that odd angle, and Jimmy's standing there flat-footed, walking straight onto that little left cross. You watch this. There's the right hand, and... Bang. Bang. There it is. And Jimmy flat-footed. I mean, you can't get out of the way. If you want to stand there flat-footed, you're going to get hit by, by anything that your opponent throws. Corner still working on his eye. The right eye seems to be okay. Both these fighters are former OPBF, the Oriental Pacific Boxing Federation, which is the regional body for the powerful World Boxing Council. Jimmy Thunder won the OPBF Heavyweight Championship in his fifth professional fight in here in Australia, knocking out August Tanavasa in Melbourne and he's home to where it all began well I tell you Brad he's gonna have to do something very soon because uh, the fight's slipping away from Jimmy Thunder and he's um, he needs to land yeah. some solid blows this round to get back into the fight just clean clean the punches not you know Jimmy's just coming in he's more aggressive than Colin but he's just coming in but he's just ineffective he's being picked off as he comes he in is. out maneuvered and out boxed look at that that was outboxed. Yep, beautifully. Very nice. Good to see Mick Courtney again. getting behind Colin Wilson too from Hornsby Sand and Cement, written on Colin's back there. Mick, brother of Anthony Courtney, who's promoted his brother Anthony, going very, very well. I see he's back on the comeback trail, Anthony. Good to see you. I know you'll be watching up in New South Wales, in Sydney. Here's that, that cross again by Wilson. Under waving his right hand in front of his face, trying to... He's trying to stop the left cross coming at that odd angle, Barry, and it's just not, not happening for him. It's not, and he's, he's trying, he's looking for an opening for the right hand, like there it is there. Barry, you know what I would do if I was Jimmy Thunder now? Instead of trying to cop that in the right glove, I'd actually start pouring with my own left hand and trying to pour his right right uh, his right lead away, because that's the only way he's going get, to get rid of it. And then crack the right yeah. hand through. And that was a feeble attempt for left hook by, yeah, by no. Jimmy there. He's... Uh, Certainly not looking good in his comeback, his first comeback fight. Maybe he's a little bit underdone. Maybe he took the fight too lightly. Maybe he hasn't trained. I don't know if he's trained hard enough, but uh, he tries to unload on Colin Wilson. He's oh, he's a big, 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 big shot by Colin. He jumps on Jim Thunder now, trying to pin him on the ropes. Let me tell you, I've been told that Jimmy Thunder has trained very hard for this fight. So it's a, it's a absolutely a, br a brilliant exhibition so far by Colin Wilson. Beautiful exhibition of boxing. Again, proving south course can be really mm. difficult. So yeah. unpredictable, Pete. Mm. They're so unpredictable. And I, I genuinely believe that Colin Wilson, um, you know, is a, it can win the Australian heavyweight title. He lost to Bob Mirovic. Bob Mirovic, let me tell you, at 30-odd, 30 36 years of age, was rejuvenated man. I mean, 
we saw him bury on the undercard to Briggs Kelly in Sydney. He came up Incredible. off the floor. Three and times, I think, oh, he got off the deck. Yeah, twice or three <laughs> times. And, uh, he was the fourth down, I, the fight. I think. He was down in the first, down in the second. Down in the second. The third round, you said, it was, I said something like, you've got to say it's a better round for him. He never got <laughs> knocked down that round. Exactly. <laughs> and, of course, he got up off the deck, Peter Landy, and, uh, and came and stopped uh, stopped the former African Olympian as uh, Wilson. Colin Wilson copped a big right hand to the head there, but he, he wore it well. He wasn't overly hurt by it. The spray flew off his head against the ropes there. Jimmy just not under looking up. for that right hand. But he can't, he's not putting them together, Brad. You know, they're no, one at not. a time, and they're just and one most, of, most of them are missing. He needs to throw three and four punches. Move him, what he's doing, he hasn't got a left lead, Jimmy. Dunn. He needs to throw the left lead and go bang, bang, bang. It's another good round for Colin Wilson, I'm afraid. It, uh, You're afraid? Well, I mean, no, I'm not afraid, but I mean, <laughs> I, I guess it's... Uh, you know, it's against what the script was written, I guess, for uh, for the majority of people. I knew that Colin Wilson would uh, go better than what everyone was giving him credit for. Yep, and you, said, uh, you certainly did, Brad. You uh, sort of tipped the way this, this fight could possibly, possibly pan out, and it's panning out. Whether, of course, you, Bill Hartman and Mark Pagan are going to talk to me ever again, it's another <laughs> thing. But, uh, well, you matched the fight. Yes. Okay. Well, Colin Wilson <laughs> just giving uh, Jimmy Thunder a little bit of the old Hutton's elbow there, don't argue. Is that what you call it, the Hutton's elbow? Oh. Hutton's is usually the straight arm. It is too, yeah. <laughs> Look at this, the big punches there from Colin. That was a, probably his best combination. Yep. Just uh, just too sharp and just a little bit too odd. Awkward for uh, well, He certainly looks the fresher of the two at the moment. Does Colin Wilson. Three rounds to go. We're certain down the stretch, as we call it. As Jimmy tries to unload with that big left hook. Hits him with a little... Right uppercut there. Nice left left hand on the break there by Colin Wilson. Colin Wilson calling him in. Saying, Come on. <laughs> Give me your best shot. And Jimmy falls into it too. And the pair get into it as referee John McCubbin has to come in and tell him to cool it. Trying to ignite the fire is Colin Wilson. I wouldn't want to get him angry. No, me neither. I'd be sure. nice as I can to him. <laughs> Is that damaging little again. right cross again? Peter is hit Jimmy with that all oh, night. Nice that good, good little left hook over the top of Colin's uh, right hand that he left out there for too long. But he hasn't followed up with it now, Barry. No. Well, as I said, Brad, he hasn't put two punches together cleanly at any stage. And I suppose you've got to say, too, who does Jimmy Thunder spar in Melbourne? Well, I think he was sparring Tommy Hammer um, and a couple of the other fighters, a couple of the other heavyweights. There's a shortage of heavyweights down That's uh, what I'm saying, Brad. There's a, a very big shortage yeah. of the heavyweights that are, you know, that could give him any sort of opposition in, in gym spars, I would imagine. There's certainly a lot of fights for Jimmy Thunder here. I, I mean, I guess there was a lot of uh, um, doubt as to a lot of the heavyweights there. There was, was offered to a couple of fighters. You know, we considered a couple of fighters. There was talk that Mirovic didn't want it. There was talk that Mean didn't want it. That, that's all not really correct. I mean... You know, they're, they're professionals. They'll fight anybody, those blokes. Mirovic will fight anyone. Certainly, I know that Carly will fight anyone. And, uh, um, you know, they'll certainly fight Jimmy Thunder, I guess. But they were looking at a fight that, that's going to suit them both financially and a fight that's uh, that suited them uh, in, in, in and around their careers. Mirovic was booked to fight for the heavyweight championship. He's defended it uh, three times this year successfully. Carly has uh, defended his uh, IBF Pan Pacific title against Colin Wilson as well so uh, so i guess now that um, the uncertainty and the doubt has been uh, dispelled that uh, maybe jimmy thunder is not the uh, not the murderous feared man that he was in the united states for the last eight for the last eight years but uh, having said that he hits colin wilson just on the cheekbone with a little left hook yeah, colin wilson at no stage so far has been shaken he hasn't been uh, overly hurt He's at never any been stage hurt, no. He's fought a good controlled fight. Very smart And fight. a steady fight, Pete. Stuck to his fight yeah. plan. And the all, the pe all the people up at Emerald will be watching. Emerald party hire. All seasons fencing. Aquanaut Water and the Capella Hotel. The only person you haven't seen a cheerio to tonight is the Prime Minister. Do you want to get and one Santa in there? Claus. <laughs> and Santa Claus. <laughs> <laughs> Hoping Santa Claus will bring me a nice present. Oh, dear. Close to the end of the eighth. Oh, that was a big left hook. Good shot. That's got to be discouraging, doesn't it? That was a good round. It was a better round for uh, for Jimmy Thunder. He had a bit more of a go, but he didn't do enough to win the he round. He didn't win the round, for sure. 
Well, we've got two rounds to go. And now you what guys have uh, scored the fight. I'm just having a look at your cards there. They yeah. look pretty similar. On so my uh, official card, Peter, I've got it 79 to 73 in favour of the red corner. Colin okay, Wilson. so he's got a fucking mouth to win, doesn't he? Yeah, oh, yeah, undoubtedly. Mm, he certainly does. Undoubtedly. Yeah. We're entering the ninth round now, and uh, as we watch some of the action from uh, from round nine. That was a yes. big hook. Yeah. He took it well, though. He did. Round eight, it was. Round eight. Sorry, round eight, yeah. Not a that, was, early. that shot was high on the cheek. If that had been on the chin, that would have done could some have, damage. Certainly, but, could uh, have, certainly could have uh, hurt him, uh, Barry, yeah. That's probably the best left hook he's thrown right throughout the fight. Still yeah. working on the eye, that right eye, which was hurt, I think, from memory, round about uh, the third round. And that has in some way perhaps inhibited, inhibited James Thunder's uh, eyesight a little bit. But uh, oh. I'm not making excuses for him, Barry. I, I, I think that... Uh, He's, uh, look, he's certainly short of a gallop, and I think that uh, this will do him the world of good. Win, lose, or draw. I mean, you know, it, it's good to have Jimmy Thunder back. I think he can still be a, uh, a heavyweight that will be yeah. uh, a force in, in this country, and we need heavyweights of his, of his ilk and his calibre. Yep. And, uh, of course, uh, he'll be better off for the gallop. And, and if he can get 10 good hard rounds out of Colin Wilson, uh, it's no disgrace to lose to this man. I mean, he went the distance with uh, with um, Joe Bugner. Joe Bugner went the distance with Muhammad Ali, mm. and he beat and some Joe of the Frazier. finest, and Frazier, beat some of the finest heavyweights in the history of the sport. So it's a feather in Colin Wilson's cap. Sure, he didn't beat Joe Bugner, but he went the distance with him. Wilson on the balls of his feet now. I think he's just giving a little bit of respect to the punching power of, uh, of Thunder. Nice jab in there. Nice south ball work from Colin Wilson. Peter, this wouldn't be the first time you've seen Jimmy Thunder in the flesh, is it? Uh, no, I've seen his fights before. A number of times, I thought so, yeah. Yes, I used to have uh, a lot of press conferences with Jimmy before he went to the States. What do you think, Peter? Do you think he looks the same fighter? Or? No, I don't, Barry. I think he looks a little slower. He certainly does. Well, I suppose he's 36 and he's been in some tough battles overseas. I mean, a lot of them we wouldn't have seen, but he's fought the very, very cream of the heavyweights in America. I think if we can put this in perspective, Wilson was always going to be a hard opponent. I think that he was always an awkward opponent. Awkward, yes. But mm. uh, but let me tell you that Thunder will probably do very, very well for the outing. The gallop will do him the, yeah, the world of good. He too. needs the rounds under his belt. And, of course, the other thing is, uh, Barry, that the confidence factor that he's been the distance, whether he wins, loses or draw, with the number two heavyweight in this country. Yep. Wilson mixing it up here now, Wilson moving from moving, the left, moving, moving to the well. right. Boxing well. I don't know why he's changing his game plan, Colin Wilson. He was going well, keeping Jimmy on the back foot. Now he's moving, letting Jimmy sort of try and take the uh, initiative off him. A minute remaining in round nine. Colin Wilson on his way to, a, at this stage, a decisive victory. But as we said, you know, there's the power of Jimmy Thunder. Anything can happen. There'll be all guns blazing in the tenth round, I can tell you. Uh, desperation is... Good punch. Jimmy misses again and gets... Uh, there's that... Oh, oh that's hurt. Jimmy he's hurting. Big left cross. Thunder was definitely shaken by those shots. Flush shots there from Colin Wilson. Oh, good punches. His best punches of the fight. Absolutely. It wasn't a lot in the round before then. Wilson was just shading him in the round, but certainly that's given him the round now. What a controlled fight. Very steady. Accurate punching from Colin Wilson. The crowd, you still got it right, Jimmy. Yeah, I heard that. Yeah. <laughs> There's always got to be some smart alley. <laughs> hey, you get up here and see if you can do yeah, that. That's right. <laughs> no, never wanted to do that. Bell for the end of round nine. That was and another uh, good round, Barry Michael. I think for. Uh, well, we've seen this the same way, Brad. The only round that James Thunder we've given him was the first round and it's been a shutout ever since. Yeah, it certainly has 10 9 in every round. And I guess if Colin Wilson really put the pedal to the metal and really started throwing lots of punches as we look at that little nick over the right eye of uh, James Thunder. Yeah, certainly looks like he's causing him just a little distress. Not a bad cut, nothing to really worry You'll about. You'll see the fight uh, out. They've uh, done a very good job at corner on that. I reckon that happened right here. Oh, look yes. at those. Yeah. They were flush punches. They were good shots. Punch. Three, four, five. One round remaining. Well, it could be a two-man war in the final round. Oh, I'm sure Thunder will come out with all guns blazing in this last round, trying to pull it out of the fire. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. He knows what he's got to do. And 
Wilson knows what he has to do. He's got to stay on his feet and he'll win the fight. Three minutes away from causing an upset is that man, Colin Kid Wilson, as he gets backed up into the neutral corner by James Thunder. On part of this big blockbuster promotion down here at the, net, the new netball centre here in Royal Park, right next to Melbourne Zoo. Queensland's Colin Wilson. Is he going to cause an upset? And still to come, the Hurricane, Paul Briggs, WBC number six, OPBF light heavyweight champion, against arguably one of the finest fighters to come out of New Zealand, and Anthony Bugini. Fought lots of Australians, Bugini. Oh, look at this. Uh, Wilson this. unloads on Thunder. He looks like he wants to go on with it, uh, Wilson. I feel like he could go another few. He's pretty fresh. He does. He looks very, very good. Peter, he, he had a small break for the sport and he bulked up incredibly. He put on about 8 or 10 or 12 kilos in overnight sort of thing. And he came back as a real genuine heavyweight. And uh, and it's actually done him the world of good because heavyweights were just throwing him around and moving him around and twisting him and turning him. And, and uh, at, at 90 kilograms, you, I think you're not heavyweight. And, and in the Australian ratings now, you're a super, you're a super cruiserweight. The right hand from Jimmy yeah. Thunder. Jimmy Thunder getting desperate here and a little bit more purposeful in this place, Jim. Halfway through round 10, the 10th and final round, Jimmy Thunder tries a big left hook, but it's to no avail as clever Colin Wilson moves away once again. On the balls of his feet in the 10th round, it's a good sign for any fighter, yeah. isn't it? That's Testament to his fitness. Jimmy Thunder looking for that one big shot that's going to bring him victory, but I tell you what, it's slipping away from him with just over a minute to go. Thunder's a bit more aggressive in this round. Wilson's hit him with more punches, but uh, Thunder is more aggressive and throwing more punches than Colin. He is, but he's still not putting them together in combination. He's not the, not the uh, explosive fighter that I remember. Well, I think he'll certainly be better for the outing, uh, James yeah, Thunder. That's, is, uh, that's for sure. He's only got to improve from yep, here, but uh, agree on that. It's pretty, you know, he's pretty long in the tooth now. I mean, for a heavyweight, a lot of them do go in their late thirties, but he's thirty-six and. Uh, you know, it's, it's going to be a long, hard road back. George Foreman's gone on longer than that, Barry. Oh, yeah, sure yeah. <laughs> okay. when, when you look down the heavyweight rankings, Carly Meehan, number one, Colin Wilson, number two, Solomon Homono, number three, Roger Eisen retain number four, Simon Patterson fighting for the cruiserweight title in Queensland tonight, number five, Peter Graham, the heavyweight from Sydney, number six, would be a good match for, uh, for James Thunder as Wilson... Picks him off with that right lead again. Another ten, good round for Colin Wilson. Ten seconds remaining. A lovely left hand from Colin Wilson. He's on his way to victory. This fight's over and it's going to be a unanimous decision. Of Colin Wilson from Queensland. A beautiful display of boxing. And there it is. Great effort. Colin Wilson raises his hand. He knows he's done very well. Well, it looks very fresh as he goes back to the corner. They sussed each other out in the first round, and I think you guys gave that to um, Jimmy Thunder, but after that, Colin Wilson got on top and fought a very controlled and a very well thought out fight, didn't he? I have it on my unofficial card, uh, Barry. I've got it 99-91 for, uh, for Colin Wilson. I've yeah, only given James Thunder the first round. I haven't given him another round uh, apart from that. Yep. Certainly Colin Wilson has spoiled the party of that man. James Thunder on our unofficial cards. Yeah, I think there's going to be no disputing this decision. Let's take a look at some of the action, and we go back to round nine. Oh, that's a beautiful little left cross. That, that was the best combination from Colin Wilson fight. during the fight. Yeah. He was on top then, and we go back earlier. This is round seven. And there's that little damaging left cross again. It was a winner for him all night. Every one, Barry, hit cleanly. And uh, great sportsmanship shown by two fantastic heavyweights, Jimmy Thunder and Colin Wilson. Boys in the centre of the ring, the cards are being tallied up, and we'll have the official result for you shortly. It won't be too long at all, but Colin Wilson will be very happy with the result, or the result that we think he will get. I don't think there's too much doubt about it, mind you. Funny things have happened in boxing. So have we got an upset on the cards here tonight? I believe we have. Barry Michael believes we have. Peter Landy believes we have. And of course, 
that man there, Colin Wilson. I think he knows he's done enough to win the fight. All right, we can go up to uh, the ring now and to our announcer, Howard Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, it was a unanimous points decision. Judge Andrew Campbell, 98-92. Brian Memory, 99-92. Anika Williams, 97-93. All for the winner from the red corner, the kid, Colin Holliner-Wilson. There we have it. Well, I had it 99-91 on my unofficial card. Just one point different to uh, Brian Membry, who score, obviously scored a 10-10 round more than I did. And the same as... Uh, Judge Andrew one Campbell. More to go. Don't worry, Paul Briggs, Anthony Bagini, don't go away. He's he's looking well happy with his effort there, uh, Peter Landy, Colin Wilson. He'll be very happy. Uh, I guess Jimmy's going to be disappointed, but as you said, he'll be uh, better suited by the outing.